tell me how you got this iconic role. Ooh, um, it all started when my agent called me to say that Warner Brothers wants to test me, to audition me for something, and they wouldn't say what for. I said, okay, I did the audition with Zach, it was great, and that, that happened in Los Angeles, and then I had to travel back to Israel, uh, and then two weeks later they called in to say, you did great in the audition, now they want to test you for it with Ben. I said, great, but what am I, what am I being, what are they testing me for? They said, well, God, we have no idea. Honestly, they wouldn't say anything. It's super confidential. Zack Snyder will call you tonight to let you know. Cut to Zack is on the phone with me, and he say, well, God, I'm not sure if you have it in Israel, but did you ever hear about Wonder Woman? I was literally, my jaw dropped. I, like, I went dead for five seconds, came back to life, tried to pull off my best voice, saying, uh, Wonder Woman, yeah, 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 of course I've heard of her. And that was it. I came to do my test with Ben, and it was great, and here we are. And we've really never seen her on the big screen, so at least in your eyes, who is um, Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman? Diana, uh, she, has, she has the strength of a goddess, of a superhero, and the heart of a human. She is all about love and equality and justice and truth and peace. Uh, she's the perfect woman. And um, how did you prepare a role like this? Um, well, honestly, after they, after they cast me for this part, they had a very, very uh, clear idea on how they want to portray Wonder Woman and who they want her to be. And, and, and all the expectations were very clear. Um, I had to do a lot of trainings. Um, I, had, I, I had so many interesting creative conversations with Zach on Diana, so we're all on the same page. And then the, you know, I have my Bible, the script, that is the heart of everything, and I just follow, follow it. But honestly, for me, playing Wonder Woman, I just, I always think, okay, who's the woman of my dream? What would the woman of my dreams would do? How would she react? And it's also not about keeping her so perfect. The woman of my dream is not perfect. She has flaws and she's accessible and, and it's easy to relate to her. Um, and, uh, and I hope that you liked her. I definitely did. How did it feel to be in the costume? Oof. Uh, the first time I tried it on, not comfortable. First time I tried it on, two days after they cast me for this role, I, they brought me to Michigan for fittings. They put the, I, I, we tried on the costume, but I was so grateful and happy to be there that I didn't said anything about the fact, I didn't say anything about the fact that the costume was super tight. Cause I was just like, ah. So I started to breathe heavy and, and funny, and then right before I passed out, someone noticed that um, it's super tight, and they adjusted it. But now it's great. Now the, the costume is fantastic. And then finally, you get the experience of being on set. You're in costume. You're with Batman, <laughs> with Superman. I mean, Zack Snyder directing. Just tell me, how was that experience? Amazing. Bigger than life. Mind-blowing. Amazing. I, I, I'm so lucky to be working with awesome people who I love and enjoy uh, working with. Uh, Zach is such a creative, original director. He's such a great guy and a funny guy. I remember the first day I shot with uh, Ben and Henry, the first trio shot. I remember getting getting into set and seeing Henry on one side and Ben on the other side and then look at myself as Wonder Woman and I could not believe that. It was epic. So I'm, I'm just grateful for this amazing opportunity. Which is going to continue. Yes.